Number eight of the self-regulation series is the physical bursts of energy. This can look like a couple of different things. One is simply exercise, like doing high knees, jumping jacks, burpees, something that will utilize this trapped energy in your body in a healthy, beneficial way, such as exercise. It actually trains the brain that when it's feeling that state of overwhelm, you can actually put it towards something that will help you feel better about yourself because that's what exercise does. But if that doesn't work for you and you feel like you really need to almost violently get something out, then I absolutely invite you to punch a pillow or something that you will not break or hurt yourself on. And I will advise that you do not do this in the presence of a child because then you will be teaching them that the way that you should relieve your frustration and overwhelm is through hitting something. We wanna to try to break that cycle of, of hitting and violence. You could also go for a walk, a bike ride, you could go rollerblading, skateboarding, you could throw some music on and dance. You could throw a couple reps in for a workout. Do something that will help you connect to your physical being in a constructive manner. Yoga has its own separate category because it is not just a workout. It's also an opportunity to incorporate breath work and meditation, it's a full body meditation. And it's important to know that there are very different styles of yoga. And people in the community say that if you're traumatized, you shouldn't be doing things like hot yoga or vinyasa yoga or booty yoga, which are very activating. But if you're the type of person who needs to use that really intense energy to get the trauma and the pain out of your body, honor that. I will say that I do agree yin yoga uh, is a safer method to help you release trauma and pain in your body, but you know your body best.